I never been nothing like what you're accustomed to. Always been who I am. Don't give a fuck if you feel it or not. I've been killing a slice that I'm giving to enter the tier at the top. See that I'm keeping it real and ain't fearing a thing. Compared to the fear that I bring, I eagerly bring what they want and you wait for the moment to own it. I send my condolences. Each track is so magical, they don't know half of what's cracking inside of my brain. The times that unchanged, my homie, the weed ain't the thing. They be snorting the lines of that cane. I bring to you something that's pure and euphoric is what they be shooting inside of their veins. I try to make What's going on YouTube? This is Chris Six and I'm coming at you guys with the Monday Night Raw results. And um, tonight's Monday Night Raw started out with Alexa Bliss coming out to the ring and pretty much gloating and um, worshipping herself about how she ended up winning the Elimination Chamber. You know, um, the goddess of WWE, um, the goddess of uh, the Women's Championship. So... Um, you know, as this was happening, it got made official for a, uh, six woman tag team match and, um, six woman tag team match cons uh, consisted of Sasha Banks, Bailey and Asuka versus Alexa Bliss, Mickey James and Nia Jax. Now, um, Asuka ends up getting Mickey James in a, um, tap out predicament and a submission hold and ends up picking up the win for her, Bailey, and Sasha Banks. So Oscar Bailey and Sasha Banks won against Nia Jax, Mickey James, and Alexa Bliss. And uh, it's not really looking too good for the goddess um, going into WWE if she's going to lose. I mean, granted, I know this is not a one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, situation, but, I mean, it's not looking good if she's, uh, her team's going to get dominated like that. Um, like I said, going into WrestleMania, um, wondering how this is going to uh, turn out uh, with, you know, Asuka versus Alexa Bliss. Now, uh, it was also made official that uh, Nia Jax is going to go against Ale uh, um, against Asuka next week on Monday Night Raw. Um, I don't know if it's a rematch or whatever from uh, Elimination Chamber, but she wants to try to uh, stop her winning streak, and I don't see that happening, though. Next, we end up having John Cena coming out to the ring, and he calls out The Undertaker wanting a match for WrestleMania, stating that it cannot happen and it will not happen. So he knows that. So he's moving on. And uh, being that he's a free agent, free agent John is going over to Tuesday Night SmackDown starting tomorrow to climb his mountain to the road to WrestleMania. So um, let's check in tomorrow and see what ends up happening. Now, Bray Wyatt had a scheduled match against Heath Slater, and uh, before the match even started, Bray Wyatt ended up taking out Heath Slater and Rhino. Rhino um, accompanied uh, Heath Slater out to the ring, and uh, Bray Wyatt, after taking out both of them and giving them both uh, this, uh, Sister Abigail, um, he ended up sitting there in the corner uh, of the ring and calling out Matt Hardy, saying that he's coming for him, so um, don't know... They're talking about maybe next Monday or, you know, are they building up for the for WrestleMania? I'm not sure, but I can't wait to see what's going to happen with these two guys. Last night's match was pretty decent between them two. Um, it, it was um, actually a really good match. The Miz comes out complaining in the next segment about how he should have won the Elimination Chamber, how he was cheated out of his win. And, um, you know, being that he was drawed first, you know, um, to come out. And honestly, I mean, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But um, Kurt Angle tells him he uh, he might have a match for him uh, during WrestleMania, but he don't know who his opponent is. He sends out Seth Rollins first, and he has a match against Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins ends up beating The Miz, and um, all of a sudden Finn Balor comes out. And... Um, then it was announced that it could be Finn Balor as his opponent for WrestleMania. Well, Finn Balor ends up beating him in the second match also. So, you know, The Miz lost twice tonight against Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Um, very bad, but The Miz Taraj tried to get involved a little bit with uh, Finn Balor and uh, the rest of the club come out and join Finn Balor. Um, uh, Gallows and Anderson kind of evening up the odds and making sure that it was a fair fight for Baller and uh, The Miz and without The Miz Taraj intervening. 
the next segment I about damn near wanted to mute, but it was uh, Roman Reigns coming out complaining about how Brock Lesnar ain't there and how big of a bitch he is and um, he blah, 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 and sucking off McMahon and whatever. I don't know. Um, I just know Roman Reigns was complaining, and, I mean, he's McMahon's bitch too, uh, so I really don't want to fucking hear it from him. Like I said last night, I still agree with this. Go back and check out the video from yesterday if you want to see me rant about Roman Reigns winning the Elimination Chamber. Um, I kind of blew up a little bit, but uh, I, I like I said, Roman Reigns is com complete garbage to me. I, d I don't really like him. He's another one of them guys like a John Cena who's being rammed down our fucking throats, um, and I don't like it. But he was out there complaining about this and that and whatever be you about the whole WrestleMania thing and how, you know... He's gonna make a better champion, pretty much. So, I, like I said, I'm I'm not on the Roman Reigns train. So, I I, I, I could have give shit less. Now, the next match we end up having was a tag team titles match uh, for Raw, and it was Sheamus and Cesaro putting up their titles against Apollo Cruz and Titus O'Neil for a rematch from the Elimination Chamber in a two out of three falls. Uh, Sheamus ended up picking up the first fall pretty quick on a, a distraction by Cesaro. Um, they end up picking up the second fall, not, you know, probably about 15 minutes into the match. It was a well fought match, but, um, Titus O'Neill and Apollo Crews end up losing, not even picking up one pinfall at all, no submission. So it was, uh, two to zero. Um, so I don't know what that says about, uh, Titus Worldwide, if they're going to be, uh, going against Sheamus and Cesaro again next week or whatnot, or if this feud is starting to come to an end and they're going to push a new feud. Um, not really sure, but uh, it, it was a pretty physical match today. Uh, I will say that. Uh, I I have to give it to them guys. It was a pretty decent physical match, though. Now, it was also announced that Jarius Robertson will be receiving the Warrior Award this year during the Hall of Fame um, alongside uh, Dudley Boys, Ivory, uh, Goldberg, and Jeff Jarrett. And um, But he'll be receiving the, the Warrior Award from Dana Warrior herself um, this year for his battle pretty much that he had um, through his life and, and everything and how he's a survivor. So uh, be sure to check that out um, during the uh, Hall of Fame ceremony on WrestleMania weekends. I think it's either Friday night or Saturday night. Um, not really sure. Now the next match that was scheduled to happen was Braun Strowman versus Elias and um, Elias was doing his little uh, spiel in the uh, ring uh, with his guitar and whatnot, and Braun interrupts him again, and the match ends up taking off. Well, at one point, Elias starts to climb underneath the ring, and Braun yanks him out, and when he did, um, Braun ends up winning from a disqualification with a, um, a fire extinguisher to the face. Uh, Elias ends up letting the fire extinguisher loose into Braun's face, call, like I said, calling, um, or causing a disqualification in the match, Braun picking up the win. Now, the destruction doesn't stop there, because Braun ends up beating his ass pretty much and chasing him through the backstage area, um, leading up to pretty much the last segment for the night. Uh, as Braun uh, is chasing Elias backstage, they run. Uh, Elias runs past a what is a limo, and Braun stops right next to it and then walks away off camera, um, leaving the last camera shot before commercial break at that limo. Now, we come back from commercial break, and Triple H and Steph come out, and I'm supposing that was probably what that uh, limo really was, um, was probably Triple H and Stephanie showing up. Um, now, they end up addressing what happened last night or during the Ronda Rousey signing with Kurt Angle blabbing about uh, how they own her and this and that and the comments that they made. Um they call out Kurt Angle, calling him to come out there for a public apology to them and to, um, you know, the universe and Ronda Rousey uh, about the incident, apologizing, saying the statements he made wasn't true, that he was, you know, sick and he's just hallucinating or whatnot. And as um, soon as they asked him to come out, Ronda Rousey's music hits. Uh, she ends up coming out to the ring uh, after Triple H and Stephanie, and they both end up jumping out because they 
both chickened out. Now, uh, during this point, Kurt Angle comes running up behind her and stops her and tells her he needs his job. And, you know, he actually apologizes, saying that he's sorry. Now, I think it was a paid apology. I think he was telling the truth. We all know what happened back with the old, uh, WrestleMania and whatnot. Um, the whole incident with her and The Rock and Stephanie McMahon and uh, the Triple H incident during the, the that WrestleMania a couple of years back. So, you know, we, we all know this probably was culminating from two, three years back till now, and I think, you know, Kurt Angle was calling their bullshit. Now, um, after he ends up apologizing, Steph's like, you know, everything's straight, you know, you we're, we're heading back, you know, bye, and Ronda Rousey asked for an apology for that smack last night, you know, she said she was disrespected. And if she didn't get that apology, she said she was going to rip her arm off. And um, the crowd uh, the crowd felt that because they were really pumped, the chant that rip your arm off um, chant. And Steph gave this cheesy, shitty, half-hearted apology to Ronda Rousey. And um, they get to go, they're getting ready to leave. Uh, her and Triple H are getting ready to leave. And as, as soon as uh, Trip steps out the ring, he reaches back in and... Pretty much pimp smacks uh, Kurt Angle to the ring and walks away, leaving Ronda Rousey tending to uh, Kurt Angle in the closing scene of Raw tonight with Stephanie and Triple H standing victorious, like always, on the stage smiling. If you guys haven't seen, like I said, yesterday's video, I did, uh, ranted about the Roman Reigns win with the Elimination Chamber. I gave you guys the Elimination Chamber results in that video. We played some games last night and went live. We're going to do that again tonight. We're going to be live streaming, so be sure to check back for that. Um, we've got this Funyun Steakhouse Onions video that I'm going to be doing. And um, like I said, I've got a Diet Coke video. Um, it um, is filmed uh, there it's done but you know not edited yet thing is though is I've got to get at least five likes on this video and I'll post that video out so be sure to hit that like button and uh, you'll be getting the last of the four Diet Coke review um, go on over to Baby Danny Land make sure you guys hit that subscribe button share the love let's get her to 20 um, go on over to Scotty Pockets Gaming um, check out my brother's channel he's doing wonderful things over there get him to the road to 100 he is almost there help him reach that goal um, hit that subscribe button here on the Chris Six Asylum let's get me on the road to 50 we are getting close um, about 7 more subscribes and we'll be on the road to or we actually will be at 50 at my goal. Um, be sure to hit that like, subs uh, um, I heard some subscribe, share, favorite, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Follow the Chris Six Asylum on Facebook. And um, I think that's it. Oh, no, wait, tomorrow. Be sure to check back tomorrow. Do the next SmackDown results review and the Mixed Max Challenge results review. So um, be sure to check back at that. Uh, my quick review on tonight's Raw. I think it was pretty uh, decent. A lot of emotion running wild tonight. That's all I can say. A lot of emotion running wild tonight coming off of the um, whole fuel of the Elimination Chamber. So tonight's Raw was pretty, pretty emotional, like I said. It was a lot of, a lot of electricity going through the air still. A lot of, um, uh, of pissed offness pretty much flowing around still about uh, the results from last night. So... I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Love peace, chicken grease. Be kind to one another. Burr.